silence in my earpiece was even more overwhelming than my own stupidity. When I was gallivanting in hell, the murderer emerged from there to get Sarah. How could I let myself be tricked like this? say below poverty line, if not for the fact that I've crossed the poverty line a hundred levels up. Somehow I have to find her. The question is, where are my taxes being spent on? I don't have a bar here. Focus, James. Sarah needs electricity, and lots of it. These converters look new. Let's see. Stop complaining about my apartment. These cables come out of the converter. Sarah, where are you? Even from here, you can smell the deadly stench of the slums. How can you live here? Seem connected to the net. Damn it. Electric current powers up the antenna. It must be operational. Sarah needs to communicate somehow. I need to get a closer look.
thought I'd be an easy target. You're the one bleeding. How did you find her? Drop, Drop your weapon. weapon. I'll, I'll let, let you live. live. You gotta be kidding. Where is she? Talk! Drop, Drop your weapon and get out. I'm, I'm counting, counting to three. One! Let's settle this one on one! You'll be completely fucked for killing an officer's body. You cunt. Oh shit. Sarah? I'd love to see the look on the commander's face trying to explain our corpses in the slums. I wouldn't be called on the carpet for once. I'd be buried under it. Fortunately, in this body, it's hard to blow someone's head off. Did you get the shakes, too? I had a slight desynchro. <sighs> Sunken face, bloodshot eyes like a junkie. James, you know how strung out you look? The charms of a reimbursed shell. They could only afford Class E. How'd you find me? You know I'm a detective, right? I didn't think anyone would bother trying to find me. Ow, 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 ow. Stay still. Why did you come here? When we lost contact, I thought he got you. So that's why you busted in here like a psycho? On a hunch? A little more than a hunch. Meaning? I have some questions, too. One, actually. You should be in your first shell. The comfortable and efficient one. What the hell have you gotten yourself into? And you're smoking too. Someone's fallen into bad company. This body must have been through half a century of addiction. It'll drop dead before I get used to it. So are you going to tell me where you got it? My family thinks I'm away. I got the best synthesizer, remote work equipment. I didn't have to explain myself to anyone. And then fucking James Kara had to waltz in here and ruin everything. I'm good at that. What have you gotten yourself into? It's a long story. And complicated. Good thing I'm a professional at complicated stories. Talk. I didn't want to. But I had no choice. I... I did something sketchy. But otherwise... It's all right. Trust me. Okay. I rented my body on the black market. Sarah, what was your motive? Motive? Seriously? I'm not judging. I just... What is this, an interrogation? No, fuck you. Fucking emotions management issues. What an eyesore. Did you say anything? Uh, 
Uh, no, nothing. Uh, lovely sculptures. What are these figurines? <sighs> They're memories. I've read that after an Icarite transplant, especially an illegal one, some can be lost. That one's the most valuable. <sighs> one night, when the acid rain was bad, Taylor and I hit upstairs, where you came in. From back down, it was just a two by three foot hole that ended in a wall of rubble. Instead of sitting in the cold with her teeth chattering like any normal person, Taylor started fiddling with the flashlight. Something flashed in the pile of rubble, so we started digging. And we dug until we unearthed this little Statue of Liberty figurine. It was beaten up, but it looked valuable. And we fenced it right away. And we came back here hoping to find more. Who's Taylor? The greatest treasure in this film. We found out there used to be a museum here. So we dug more, day after day, till our hands were bloody. We kept digging for normal people, a portrait of misery, desperation. But for Taylor, we were adventurers on a fucking treasure hunt. We glued, fixed, and sold everything we found. Don't you believe we we excavated this whole place like a pair of underage slum archaeologists? It must have taken a while. Almost five years, but it was our livelihood. We were dirt poor and surrounded by dirt, but we felt rich. At least until Taylor tricked me. Eight years ago, give or take a few days. No. We were in love. I remember exactly when she tricked me, because it was when I turned 21. First subscription. And Taylor paid for it for me. She did it behind my fucking back. After a month, her subscription expired. And we were broke, and there was no one to help. She wound up in the bank, and the body went to auction. That's why I have to get her out, no matter what it takes. You're the detective. Now you know my motive. anywhere anything higher octane I'll pour us something or you can also help yourself to ambrosia in the bedroom
remember it. <laughs> this is older than me. Scientists have painstakingly developed the formula of plant nutrients, which can resurrect any plant, even with the smallest amount of sunlight. Soon, living museums will bloom again. Afraid your memories will eventually fade away. Lucky me. Mine don't fade. They haunt me more literally than I'd like. You must have some good ones. At least one. We're at the movies, and Rachel tries to convince me it's a crime flick she's already seen. They were all the same to her, and of course, she's teasing me and. I'm trying to watch the fucking movie. Right now, I'd give anything to be sitting there next to her. I'd focus all my attention on her. Maybe then you wouldn't remember it. Maybe it's the imperfect moments that create the most precious memories. Have you read Chicken of Justice? There is no way you know this. The last of his kind. He could give up. But he fights for a better world for the rest of us. A true hero. <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. My brother Dario was crazy about him. <laughs> and did Dario also write riddles? There was one on the back of the book. Yes! The Chicken of Justice could only be summoned by solving one. This one room, the bedroom, is totally secure. It's a slum, but I gotta be able to close my eyes sometimes. It's possible to break in there with enough effort, but I'd have time to be awake and ready. Well, not so easy with me, right? Would you rather end up reconstructing the Icarite? Well, the 
probably wouldn't bother trying to save me at this point. In the middle of the room was a bunch of files with names. Can't you respect anyone else's privacy? I said none of the siblings knew. If something went wrong, I prepared myself for it. But what's one have to do with the other? I sorted things out for them and left a will that made it clear I believed Taylor and I would be in heaven at the bank. Looks like you covered all the bases. Nice work. Thanks. I try. I hope this isn't a tough question. Sarah, how are Max, Dario, and Peter now? I wasn't talking... I saw the name on the cabinets. Did they... Don't worry, they're all alive and doing pretty well. They rented a legal apartment, floor 40. They have better air than here. Bodies wear out slower. So how did a slum girl get this job? Maybe you got yours. I had to work for it. Points for determination. Must not have been easy for you. Fortunate combo. I had insomnia and hated wasting my time. I guess that's how I managed to pass all the exams. Did our department come for Taylor? Yes. So why... Did I join you? Maybe I wanted to take control? Of some sort. I decided I was never going to be powerless like that again. I'm just a liaison, but I already know when and where they move. Do you know who it was? Which one of us came for Taylor? It was hard to resist the temptation to check it out. Want to get some revenge? He was so ordinary. A regular agent. To really get justice, I'd have to get revenge on this whole sick fucking system. Then how about we get revenge on this whole sick fucking system? Like that's possible. What if it was? Wait. What kind of bullshit is that? Are you accusing me of something? Just curious. taste.
remember about the train accident. Only scraps of memories, fragments. I can't put it back together. And those fucking synchro tests. What I wouldn't give to be able to go through them. You need time. Thanks. I'd rather focus on the task at hand. I found a hen of a damned intricate make. You solved the puzzles? Congratulations. For ten years of his life, Dario only wanted hens like that. Well, you've proven yourself worthy. You can keep the chicken of justice if you want. Seriously? Awesome! Criminals, look out now. <laughs> You've got talent, James. What are we drinking to? Well, you're the expert. Sit down and make a toast. Bottoms up. through your fucking fingers like sand. And to your optimism, your most charming trait. Ah, great. What's our poison? The slum's chief export, apart from bodies. Moonshine. Nice. The worse the neighborhood, the better the hooch. What are you renting the body for? Surrogate for some rich broad. A good one, I hope. Sarah, please tell me it's not Jane Salma. I found her file. Ugh, calm down. I checked her. I got to her. She had a similar case before, and they couldn't prove anything, even with plenty of evidence. Oh, damn it. The arrangement came from me. She had the dough, I had the body with the right biological conditions, plus I could cover for her. That's why I know she's not a suspect. Okay. I'll trust you. At least I'll try. Much appreciated. Alright. So, you rented your body. Where did you get this one? The current model. Salma said it was recycled. Give one to me. No. A recycled body? After what I've seen, that's hard to swallow. They must have put someone on ice for you to get it. No, no, no. Somebody bought a new body, and no one wanted this one. We can scan the shell and check. There's no need, really. Let's not. to see the big picture of what you've gotten yourself into. James, I have nightmares. Every single fucking night. I see her in them. Welcome to the club. Every morning, I wake up from them and Taylor can't. And it haunts me. What if she's trapped there in an endless nightmare? They're your nightmares, not hers. You're projecting your fears where they don't exist. And you have to deal with them. James, I have to save her. Fuck! You understand? I can't tell good from bad. Especially in this fucked up world. But if something, someone matters to you, you fight. Screw the cost. Well, thanks, I guess. Do you know what I'd give to see Rachel again? Fucking anything. Thanks for being straight with me. Press your finger. I can handle it. Sarah, we need to start investigating. Just a minute. Not so fast. One more question. A basic one. Yeah. 
Why don't you tell me why you stormed in here like a lunatic? I told you, I thought you were in danger. Based on what? Did something happen when we lost contact? Mm-hmm. Can you fire up the board here? No. We'll do it the old way, then. In the meantime, I'll summarize the Red Room for you. The Red Room? It's a piece of fucked up history. You better buckle up. <sighs> I can't believe all this evidence. You were right from the start. Seriously? What surprises you most? That's not what I meant. But the murderer was behind everything from the beginning. Did he take over his body? Strong assumption. We better go one step at a time. Now? You're going to get skeptical now? I just want to sort it out. Okay. Where do we start? James, I managed to get what was in Green's safe. There were recordings of his synchro tests and a ton of private notes. It's pretty unusual. Upload. How did you describe it? That you're losing control of yourself? Mm -hmm. It's a kind of consciousness erosion. We'll increase the dose of ambrosia and the amount of synchro tests. It should help. I need something better. We don't have anything else yet. I'm working on it. It's one big joke. Selma sounds familiar, don't you think? Shit. I thought she was gonna get herself a synthesizer. Erosion of consciousness. Ugh, never heard of something like that. Neither did I. That means he was weaker than we thought. heard that before. Good to know you still have feelings for them. They didn't die because of money. Yeah, they had plenty of it. There had to be another reason. to these recordings. They were in the Red Room. I'll try to get to them. Maybe there is something that has a negative effect, like synchro tests only in reverse. I learned this was the plan for the next hundred years. Numerous attempts to save what we have in this system. And our system isn't perfect? At least for them. It turns out not to be the case. Apparently, every prediction ended in disaster. Getting used to the big names of the corpses at our feet. What are they doing there? Apart from the obvious. Together they worked on how to calm the riots. How to use the fourth estate. Who knows if they would have failed. Dickheads. You're telling me these are the only people who can deal with the chaos in this city? Am I? No. But I think that's what Green is trying to tell us. Do you buy it? Well, this motherfucker knew corruption and power like no one else. His own transfer machine. I can't even get my shit together after three. This explains his problems. They were his own doing. There may be no evidence that they made a transfer of consciousness at the time of the incident, but his behavior... I know, it's damn suspicious. Let's just put it together piece by piece. Okay, whether it was Green's will or someone else was pulling the strings, why did Green have to die? I see at least two, uh, no, three possibilities. Can you be more specific, Miss Detective? I'm throwing them in.
Both died on dates shown on the symbols. The problem is that Green's date of death was carved long ago. Like I said, I have at least three hypotheses. Yes, ma'am. The whole thing may simply have been about tearing the city apart. How much planning does it take to set up something like that? I don't know, but we need to figure out who's pulling the strings in all of this. try to draw some conclusions. Honestly, I see two main possibilities. Or we're just seeing a small part of a bigger plan. By someone who's always two steps ahead of us. Or Green's plan played out with Kovalev's help. Mm-hmm. How do you figure? Fuck, I don't know. He has access to some advanced tech. He managed to make contact with you in the Red Room. He knew everything that happened. Like he was in Green's head. I, I thought Green just committed suicide. But now I'm having a tough time buying that. Sorry. I've got a lot of thoughts. What do you think? Who's behind all this? Murderer or Green? The more important the decision, the less certain, huh? <sighs> We're out of time for mistakes. I'll admit our alleged killer knows a lot. But we don't have enough evidence that taking control of bodies is even possible. Green wouldn't be so easy to manipulate. He held this city by the balls for hundreds of years. Seems he decided to go out in a blaze of glory and burn it all down. If Green planned it all, then what role did the killer play in everything? So, what's his next step? The motherfucker leaves no trace. The trail's cold. Why haven't we heard of him before? He's a pro, after all. Hmm. Criminals are still in their learning curve when they do their first crimes. They leave more traces behind. I'll check similar poisoning cases in recent years. No. Poison may have been removed from reports. Check the final death. Oh, I think I have something. Two weeks? No. Shit. I was wrong. Forget it. Sarah? Rewind. No, you can't touch your own case, or reconstruct it, or explain it. You can't defend yourself. I'm the only one who can. Oh, the fucking savior of the world. Can't you let go just this once? You know the answer. Damn you. Hang on. I have to... What's this? A new earpiece. This one shouldn't be so easy to spot. Ah. Thanks. Looking in the mirror at yourself, sometimes the scariest thing imaginable. But it was time to face myself on my own, without dragging anyone else down.
do? Are you there? Hello? This guy looks shady. He's connected. Oh, this guy's a fool. Wait for me. We'll get it sorted together. Seth? Who else, genius? The voice of your conscience? You're not really here. You're just a cocktail of desynchro and memories with a garnish of trauma. Dude, you really don't get it. Don't do anything or you'll do something stupid. I just entered the initials and Hestia asked, am I satisfied with my work? They're calling from the top about it. This will end worse than usual. I'll lean on him and get something. I'll find out what happened. Fine. What if you don't? I will. Whatever it takes. I can't cover your ass if you do this. Jake! We just received word of gunshots in Central Park! statement is that there are only two kinds of medicine that work. Those with an awful taste. And narcotics. James, are you there? Good to hear you. I'll be on the line, but remember, in this place, desynchro can be deadly. Got any symptoms yet? Thanks. Never felt better. Damn it. I can't see anything. Do you think there are any traces left after all this time? I was here. How am I not one big lead? Got a birthday and rushed to the store. I hope. Most of the blood evaporated in the fire. Maybe the UV will detect something. Is it? I was 
ankle deep in blood. This is mine. James. I don't have enough information to reconstruct. There was a major firefight here before the derailment. I'll check where the shooter was. Refusal of body credit. This guy just hit the memory bank from here. Probably like most of the victims. It's familiar. What if that's my gun? Did I? No. I need to look for more evidence. I don't know if reconstructing is a good idea. Shot them. I remember this. I was chasing a guy. A dealer. Motherfucker was armed. Looks like he was standing around here somewhere. I already have a lot of data. I'm going to reconstruct. James, think again. The reconstructor will try to use your memories because you were there. It'll be fine, Sarah. No, you won't. I... Wait. James, wait for me. Uh, I'll be back in a moment. I have something. I'll explain later. Um. What the hell? What's going on? <laughs> we'll get through this difficult moment together. Running away in the crowd. You shot up those people. No! Look, then. It's You're manipulating. those passengers. It wasn't me. He overwrites my memories. How does he know about the train? From a synchro test? Is this how he brings out memories? Get out of my head! Are you alive? That's my blood? Killer uses your memories against you like a parasite. Squeezes into gaps left by the D6 and modifies them. I don't know. He hacks synchro tests and finds out everything. He does it somehow. Run away from there. Come home and we'll talk about it. Don't reconstruct any further, understand? I can't be with you now. What? I'll explain later. Ugh, my body is in trouble. Okay? Over and out. <gasps> About us? 
I understood that you would never accept my decisions. Life ends. Even memories fade away. <laughs> Nothing else will happen. We tried. I know. Fears feeding on her death. Reconstructing this is going to be Sisyphus' work. The difference is Sisyphus tried to cheat death, not to immerse himself in it. games until it broke into pieces. construction. assume that's true. I shot everyone like a madman. What's next? Have a look. Oh. 
so hard to this pathetic life. in the morning. <laughs> 